Hey everyone, Sarah here from Blue Lotus Films. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Snap Camera for live streaming on Zoom. So Snap Camera allows you to bring the magic of lenses that you have on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook to your live stream and video chats. So if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I share video production and video marketing tutorials to help wellness business owners raise their visibility generate leads and increase their income. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get notified every single week when I release new videos. All right, let's jump right into the demo. All right, so here we are on Snap Camera. I already have it opened, I've downloaded it on my computer. And you'll see on the homepage, there's a bunch of featured lenses, and then they have some categories on the bottom here. And so, to try on a lens, all I need to do is single click, and you'll see it does have a snap code, and then you can preview, you can see this is exactly how it will appear in Zoom. And let's see what another one we can try out here, this Wonderland, some nice snow. Let's go into the funny category. Ooh, I wanna be a Smurf. You guys remember the Smurfs? Yeah, who wouldn't want to be a Smurf if you were a kid in the 80s, man? I would want to be a Smurf, but why don't they have Mrs. Smurf? <laughs> Remember Mrs. Smurf? So yeah, this you can use any of these for your Zoom meetings. And let's be a TV now. Now imagine, you know, you're in a Zoom meeting. Maybe you want to use these lenses as part of your presentation right? Why not? To make it kind of fun to, um, you know, actually illustrate what you're talking about. You know, like for instance, I work in media, maybe I'm making a presentation on <laughs> TV and video, who knows? But um, the point is, there's many ways that you can use these snap lenses. Okay, so here we are on Zoom, and I want to show you guys how you can activate snap camera. So you do need to have Snap Camera open. You'll see I have the application already open. And then I just go in here and I choose Snap Camera under Video. And I already have a filter selected. And so if you want to change your filter, you want to change your lens, in other words, you've got to go back into Snap Camera and do it manually. Um, and that's why it's very good to have favorites already selected. So I could just switch it to whatever uh, lens that I want to use. But then when I'm in Zoom, I can turn this lens, I can turn Snap Camera on and off simply by using my hotkey. So you see, I've activated my hotkey, but you cannot switch bet between lenses unless you go back into the Snap Camera application and then you select a lens. So if I wanna be a banana now in my Zoom meeting, then I select it and now I'm a banana on Zoom. Okay, so let's go back. Now I wanna be rainbow hair. And now I'm rainbow hair on Zoom. Now, I am also using eyeglasses. The image that you're seeing here, it is coming through in eyeglasses. And if you don't know about eyeglasses, I'll leave a link to a video that I did, um, which you can watch and learn all about eyeglasses. But I just want to mention that because it's kind of cool that you can combine two applications in one. So in other words, when I'm not using a lens here, the eyeglasses image is coming through. Okay, so to save a favorite, if you like any of these lenses, to save one, all you do is hit the star as you're hovering over the lens, hit the star, and then your favorites are gonna appear right here. These are all the favorites that I've already chosen. I love this one, I'm having a flower in my hair. I also love you know, being at the beach. So now look guys, you don't even need the virtual background through Zoom. You can just use a snap lens um, in case like for instance, your computer doesn't have enough RAM to run the virtual background because um, you do need to have certain um, system requirements for that virtual background in Zoom. 
Okay, so the last thing I want to show you here on the Snap Camera application are your settings. So you can flip the video, apply retouching, so that means when there's not a lens activated, you can still have your video look better quality than it would be without using Snap Camera. Um, optimize for green screen, again, a really cool option because you can use Snap Camera for your virtual backgrounds for many different things. You can actually use Snap Camera, and I'll show you just in a moment, on recording your own videos that you can then bring into an editing program. So um, the main purpose of this tutorial is about using it in Zoom, but you definitely can record your own videos. And then you can also set a hotkey to turn the lens on and off. I've already chosen my hotkey. And of course, you can come over here and edit and put whatever hotkey that you want. Okay, so you, as I mentioned, you can um, take a photo, take a video, and let's see, if I was to take a video right now, you can see the red light flashing and we're recording this video just for a few seconds because I just wanna show you guys. See, now I have this six second video and it's actually um, a 720 video. It's not completely high quality HD, but 720 is good enough for any editing program and you can just download that video, bring it into your editing program. Get creative, guys. You know, that's what I'm here to share with you every time I do a video, just to remind you that these tools, yes, they can be used for what they're meant to be used for, the main purpose being using it on Zoom, but think of ways you could get creative with it, you know, recording your own videos. I mean, this is a, these are essentially free effects, free green screen effects, you guys. You don't have to pay an animator. You can do this on your own just by using snap lenses. And not only are you trying on other people's lenses, but what you're going to be doing is you can actually make your own lens, okay? So that's really cool. If you have that kind of talent, man, put your, put your um, comment below. I want to hear from you guys because, oh my God, I want to be able to create my own lens. I just... I'm not an animator. I'm not someone who's probably going to do that. So I think it's really cool if um, you have that kind of talent. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to like this video and comment below and let me know if you're going to be using Snap Camera on your next Zoom meeting. I would love to hear from you. So subscribe to my channel for more video production and video marketing tips every single week. Thanks again for watching everyone. Have a great day.